Hey, I'm Glasses. Today we're going to look at using the stereo filters on the Prophet X and utilizing them to create some cool stereo wide sounds. Let's start with a new patch. Let's take a sawtooth wave. Instead of just doing a regular filter sweep using the cutoff knob, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the cutoff down and assign the mod wheel as a source and cut off left as the destination. Then in the second mod slot, I'm going to assign the mod wheel once again as a source and cut off R right as the destination. We can now change the amounts a bit so they're not exactly the same. And now when I use the mod wheel, I'm going to get, let's turn the resonance up a bit, I'm going to get a a much wider sound. Now if you're listening to this on Instagram, it might be some to mono, I'm not sure. But on YouTube it should definitely be stereo. What I'm going to do now, uh, instead of using the mod wheel to control the cutoff, I'm going to use some random LFOs. Now let's sync both of them to the clock, set them both to random, and set their speed for example, the 16th notes. Let's hear what that does. And maybe try a different frequency for one of them. Let's try adding a sample to that. I'm going to try a reverse percussion sound. And I'm going to disable the filter for that. I'm going to turn on filter bypass. See what that sounds like. So that was just the tip of the iceberg. You can experiment with the stereo filters and create some really cool sounds. And you can apply that technique to other sequential synths as well that's not exclusive to the Prophet X. But thank you for watching, everyone. Stay safe and healthy. I'll see you next time.